with Sea Hunter Boats, and today I'm going to walk you through our very large 33 foot Sea Hunter. So, our 33 is one of the largest in its class mainly because of its 11 4 foot beam. It weighs in at a dry weight of 10,500 pounds and a fish ready weight of 15,000 pounds. You could also see how much room we have in the aft of the boat. In our aft of our boat, we have our cooler seat, mezzanine you can call it. We have two live wells that's standard, uh, our bilge, and two fish boxes. This boat also has the options of being powered by triple motors or twins. Uh, depending the customer's preference for autos, you know, Yamaha, Suzuki's, any kind you guys want. Standing back here, we have a very large platform. As you can see, we have plenty of mo uh, room for the three motors. Off to the side here, we have stainless steel cleats. And back here, for easy in and out access of the boat, we have a pop out ladder. As well as for more easy access, we have a center door in between our live wells to come in and out of the boat easily. So let's talk a little bit more about the back of our boat. We'll start off here in the center where we have our bilge. One of the very cool features of our bilge is it's a finished bilge. So it actually acts as another place for storage. Mainly we store our five gallon buckets in here with cleaning supplies. Or when we're fishing, we put a trash bag in one of these buckets and we leave it in here so trash is always out of the way, the boat stays neat, nice and clean. And then on our bills, just like our other our models, this is a standard for our models from our 31 all the way up to our 45. We have our bilge with an acrylic glass here. You know, bilge pumps, you have your three live well pumps because there's also a live well in the front of the boat. And then you have all your valves for your ins and your outflows all easy accessible for if just in case you had to close them or any issues for replacing them. Behind your what we call your actual bilge is something that is in particular to our boats is our sump box. This is our sump box. Our sump box is connected to all your fish boxes, your forward live well. You know, you have two back here and you got three up front plus your rod lockers. It all drains into here. Um, it has a macerator connected to it, as well as a bilge with a flow switch. In front of our bilge area, like I was saying before, is our large cooler seat, per se, you know, mezzanine. On top of our, our cooler seat, we have storage shelves, you know, for gloves, like this guy's using leaders, cop bobbers, anything you want to put. You have three easy access shelves, as well as our latches have locks in them so you don't have to worry about any step. And then, like we were saying before, is your easy access cooler. We can also add uh, a divider in it, just in case you don't want to fill up the whole cooler one day, you can only use half of it. So on both sides, like I was saying before, we have fish boxes. These fish boxes are great for the everyday fishing. You know, I primarily like to use the bigger box in the front for the long fishing trips, but for the weekend warrior and for just your weekend fishing trips with the family and friends, these back boxes work great. They're, they have plenty of room, store back, you can, as you can see, it's about a four foot brush and it goes all the way back there. And it ends over here. So here in front of our fish boxes like we were just talking about before, we have our you know our, our rod lockers or just more storage um, they're eight feet long so on your Bahamian trips or your fish trips you want to store any rods underneath you can put them underneath they have locks as well on top so for safety no one wants to get their rods stolen and if you're not putting in rods just like our customer here net revenue he has his anchor and, and a cleaning table so one of the big things I want to push on is how much storage this boat has where you can fill up every box have nothing on there. So now here we're going to talk about our leaning post. We spoke about it a little bit earlier with our large cooler in the back. So now we're going to talk about the front side of it. It's got this large seat just like the back. It fits up to three people easily. Maybe four if you put them sideways. You know, very safe, comfortable spot for the kids and the family. On top of that, 
we have four cup holders and five rod holders. This is a standard in all the boats. Underneath our leaning post seat, we have more storage with easy access to our battery switches. So now let's take a look at our center console. As you can see as well, it's a very, it's a large center console. So we're able to fit 76 12s, you know, as well as 16 inch screens if you wanted to. This particular customer just wanted the 12 inch screens. We have our Yamaha control center, fusion radio, and two Garmin VHF radios, as well as our Optimus steering. Optimus steering as well, we'll take a look at it a little later. It's a standard in our boats that I'd like to highlight on. That makes our steering really easy. We got our stainless steel C100, wheel with our suicide knob as well as our Yamaha controls all easy access and trim tabs. As you can see here too where I'm standing we have our Sea Hunter Boats anti-fatigue sea deck mat for those long days on the water. Um, above here we have all our switches so the switches are always out of the way no one can hit them by mistake and they're easily visible. You have nav lights, anchor lights, instrument lights, your bilge pumps you know as well as uh, we can check up here on the top of the hard top we have our blue map lights and fluorescent lights for nighttime fishing on top of our center console you can see we have this icing glass enclosure three-sided to keep you out of all the elements so here on the side of our console underneath the gunnel we have our fresh water hose belt we have one on the other side as well for salt water we have the salt water. It stays out easy and goes right back in. Okay, we have another stainless steel pop-up cleat. You know, behind that we have our gas fill. Cool thing about our gas fill is we have them both on either side. Since this boat is one center fuel tank, you can fill it up either on this side or on that side, depending on which side you want to dock. Underneath that we have our stanchion. In our stanchion we have our eight-inch wet sound speaker and in the side of our console we have room for a 10 inch wet sound sub. Behind that we have our easy access side door into our console. You can see how much storage we have in our console. We've got three bean bags, two big boxes, hats, a kite, fire extinguishers, his e -perp. everything stored away nicely inside there and out of the way. We'll show you now how much space it is when we take everything out. As you can see now, how much space there is in here. I'm five foot nine, I can stand up and still have room to spare. So on the back side of our wall, we have our switch panel. You know, all easily enabled to know what they are. Fire extinguisher mount and an EPIRB mount. As well as two easy access panels to work on any of your GPS's if you have any issues. You know. Or down here, your amplifiers, you know, everything else, as well as more storage. On the starboard side of the boat, like I was saying on the other side, we have our saltwater water well, another stainless steel pop-up cleat, and your other access for your gas filler. And on this side, since we don't have the side door, we have room for rod holders. She has four, but as you can see, there's plenty more room. So, another thing I wanted to touch base on here is our hard top. Here, he powder coated our entire this hard top, which is a very uh, popular option in all our models. So into our hard top, we integrated this handle with a grip for your hands to hold on to. I think it's a cool little feature we've done. We also have one back here for the guys standing a little further back. So walking up to the bow of the boat, as you can see here, we have more grab bars for, con for convenient being able to walk up to the bow of the boat while you're running, you know, you're not just an another place to hold on to as well as a combing bolster that goes throughout the boat so you can rub up against the sides and then not hurt. Um, as we continue up here, you know, just like the back, we have plenty of seating, we have our forward seat. Now our forward seat is big enough to fit three people as well. And underneath this forward seating, we have storage. On this particular model, it's a little different than on our 35s and over that have the lounge seat, but it's still, uh, plenty of room for you to sit on. So here into our hard top, as you can see on the other side, we have integrated LED spreader lights as well as on top. On the back of the boat, we have two spreader lights to cover the whole back of the boat. Also out on the sides, out of the way so they're not blinding at night, we have our navigation lights, as you can see here. So now here, we're at the bow. Underneath my feet right now, we have our largest fish box, as well as two other fish boxes on the side or storage 
and our live well in the center. So we'll start off here with our side fish box slash storage. You can see it has plenty of room. A lot of times we like to fill these boxes up with ice and we'll scoop out of these and come into our large fish box on those long trips where we fit those bigger fish and we start packing our fish in here so they have a nice cool cold brine until they get home. Something else I haven't touched base on about all our hatches are they all have gas spring shocks on both sides and they're all made out of carbon fiber as well as when you're closing them they're easy open and close slam latches lastly the bow of our boat you see we have more room for speakers we have plenty of room for speakers on all our models in this boat it's got two eight inch wet sound speakers and another 10 inch sub you know above that we have our anchor locker we open up our anchor locker as you can see we have our shelf here for rope storage we have a whole storage for 300 foot of rope that's standard in our models. And unfortunately, we are anchored out here right now and using our fortress anchor. But it does have the little notches so that your fortress anchor sits inside of with latches to lock it in place. At the tip of our bow, we have two cleats. So docking is made easy, tying up in your slip, you know, it's easy access as well as they pop up and go down. So this concludes our walkthrough of the 33 foot Sea Hunter. I'm Bernie Perez with Sea Hunter Boats. For any more info, go to www.seahunterboats.com.